Hey everybody, just a quick update on the 90 millimeter EDF wing. <laughs> EDF wing. Okay, so this was a 0.6 body print. I did order lightweight PLA. It's the E Sun stuff. I wanted to give that a shot in conjunction with the epoxy coat. But what I wanted to show you on this is I had an 8 millimeter nozzle that I wanted to try out. And you can see that's that's some thick that's that's 0 0.8 <laughs> it's almost a millimeter and i did a two percent not even yeah two percent gyroidal infill so it, but the the skin of it's really strong really rigid really flexible um and it might be a bit on the heavy side depending on what you're building so this is like half of one of the wings well half one of the sections of one of the wings 62 grams not too bad um but we're gonna see how that lightweight um e-sun pla works out and then we're gonna coat that of course with some epoxy just to give it that that strength i want to see if it soaks it in with the type of material it is but this the only problem with the the eight the point eight is the seam you get seam pitting here so you either have to do some seam painting where you put it on the end or somewhere where it's not going to be able to be seen in order to use this on any smooth surface now it's smooth it's not really going to affect anything it just kind of looks weird because of where the seams are starting and ending but it still works good as an airfoil and it's it's pretty rigid on its own and with a two percent gyroidal infill it has it's got some, some decent strength and flexibility so remember petg if you're going to use an eight a 0.8 millimeter nozzle to do this petg will work fine it'll be a little heavier on the heavier side but i think it'll be a bit more rigid as well um again about 62 grams 62 63 somewhere around there this um, core I plan on keeping as uh, in PETG. I may do this in the expanding foam just to see what happens. Not single wall, but maybe two or three walls. Because that's what I did for the Javelin. The Javelin is going to be coming back soon because that's sort of the core for it over there. But <sighs> realistically, uh, I want to see how it compares from the PETG to the lightweight PLA uh, with an epoxy coat and see how the strength is and then the weight comparison. And then I'll give you an update from there. So back to work.